Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of On the Ignorance of the Learned, an essay by William Hazlitt. In this essay, Hazlitt tries to expose the ignorance of the learned persons, that is, the so-called learned persons. Now, we will question how a learned person can be ignorant. But Hazlitt points out the fact that while the learned persons possess vast knowledge and information about large number of subjects, they are actually ignorant of the most of the ordinary facts of life and also of most of the simple truths. Hazlitt says the reason for this is that at school, the boys are encouraged only to memorize facts and not to develop their thinking faculty. Even the brightest boys at school often fail to attain success later in their lives because all they have acquired in school is only bookish knowledge but had not developed their thinking powers and had learned nothing of any practical value. Therefore, he says, the so-called learned man derives all his knowledge from books and not directly from a personal experience of life. That is why Hazlitt defines learning as the knowledge of that which none but the learned know. The so-called learned man knows nothing about his next door neighbors, but he is thoroughly conversant with the customs and modes of life of the tribes of people who live in the most distant countries. He can see no beauty in the face of nature or in art. He also knows nothing of the beauty of painting and the art of great painters like Raphael and Michelangelo. In the same way, he is also ignorant of music and of poetry. He does not know any liberal or mechanical arts. And he also does not know the skill of ch or chance. He is also not interested in hunting or fishing or riding or card playing. At the same time, he is also not good at conversation. Comparatively, even a coach driver has a capacity to say more interesting things than this so-called learned man. Some of the learned men in history held beliefs and views which were later found to be absolutely false or absurd. For example, he mentions the non-conformist divine Richard Baxter and he says that he is one of such men and the world has not gained anything from the writings of such learned men as Lord, St. Augustine and Scatha. In fact, he is they, says that there is much, not much sense in the voluminous, that is they have written so much of writings and whatever these learned men have written does not have any value in it. Now, but during their times, they were held in great esteem and whatever they said was applauded. And he says that the most sensible men in society are the men of business who argue from what they see and know, instead of building up theories of what things ought to be. And he also says that women have more of good sense than men and it is by their sense and wit that they are generally able to govern their husbands. And finally ends the essay by saying that uneducated minds are more fertile than the highly educated and scholastic minds. Here he points out Shakespeare's uneducated mind which produced some of the finest dramas in the world. But the commentaries which were written upon Shakespeare's dramas by scholarly critics are by comparison insignificant. This is what he says in this essay. If you have anything more to add on to what I have said, Please write it in the comment box, like the video, share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.